Hello everybody. I should just turn my volume up and um, I'm just going to wait for a few people to come in um, to join. I just want to give a bit more of a detailed update on a very short post I just wrote um, this morning. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to join. Hello to you all. Good afternoon from Glastonbury from the farm and um, <clears throat> just waiting as always just for a few people to join so they don't miss the start of what I just want to share which is a lot more detail on the post I made this morning about being in collectively um, we're definitely it arrived yesterday actually the it's like a black hole I'm calling it that okay it's not it's not like a you know it's just a word um, so I'm just gonna wait for you all to join it's lovely to see you all again it's been a while since I've done a proper live, as in talking, explaining, and supporting in this way. So, um, okay, let's get started. Or oh, let's wait for 144. Okay, it's 145, so no need to wait. Okay, so I wrote a post this morning, and I want to explain it in detail so that everybody can grasp what I say, because sometimes I do speak in riddles. Um, welcome to you all. Um, <clears throat> you're going to have to bear with me as I explain because I get a lot of information and I don't post it all because I know it's too complicated. Um, and and my, my desire always is to support in the moment in a really simple way, not a complicated way. So a lot of the time the information I get I just hold on to and... Um, support in the moment in the now moment um, yesterday I knew categorically that something was happening energetically and I knew this throughout the whole of the day this was on Sunday yesterday 30th um, last night I had another learning dream which all the pieces add up of the, my puzzle um, the learning dream last night correlates to a learning dream I had two weeks ago so pieces of our puzzles fit together not necessarily all at once in piece by piece by piece clue by clue so I want to take you back to a post I wrote approximately two weeks ago um, that spoke about a learning dream I was given that showed me I immediately had to pack and, and it, this is an analogy, but I had to pack and get ready. And I think I definitely wrote a post about that, which said there was kind of no time left. We have to pack and be ready. I also wrote in the post that I tried to contact a, a fellow um, awakened person, a good friend. And he said he wasn't ready. He, he, he for whatever reason I could see in the dream, he, he wasn't going to pack up Um he just couldn't okay he had his had his reasons okay absolutely had his reasons but he just couldn't pack to be ready and then I tried to connect with with somebody else in in my life and um, I was shown in the dream that the signal the energetic signal wasn't there and so I couldn't get through to them to give them the information so that was my learning dream a couple of weeks ago um, part of that learning dream which I didn't share in the post because I didn't understand it and I won't ever share anything that I don't categorically know but after the packing and I was ready I was packed I then entered what you could describe as this dark space. It was like a cave. It wasn't pitch black. It wasn't 100% black. But it, it was darker and it was like a void. But I didn't share that part because I didn't want to frighten anyone. And I didn't know what it meant at the time. But I do today. Because of yesterday's energies that arrived that I didn't quite understand until another learning dream last night so last night I received 
a learning dream with me and a member of my blood family. It was a beautiful dream. And um, we were playing the game, this game. And I said to an esoteric being, I'm not quite sure how this game works. How do we play it? I can't remember. I've been here before, but I can't quite remember. <laughs> God, that's so funny, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and uh, the beings explained that there were clues. Clues in every one of our timelines, in every one of our lives, everybody's, everybody's throughout the world. There's nobody excluded from this. This is what I'd love you to all understand. Nobody's excluded. Everybody's playing their part and their role in multiple timelines. There's multiple versions of me. There's multiple versions of you. So um, in last night's dream, I was I was told categorically that um, to look for the clues. And when you see the clues, when you, when, you, when you see the clues, the clues will lead to the treasure. And I was shown that the treasure isn't held by yourself as a personality. We, we don't hoard it. We don't give it to a few. The treasure's given energetically this is a, quite hard to grasp but just try and be with it the treasures that we each uncover so wisdoms uh, seeing through our behaviors seeing through our belief systems seeing esoteric and understanding esoteric knowledge learning about energy whatever the treasures are sensitivities they're not kept for ourselves or for a small minority what happens, and I was showing this, is, is we give them back to God in that moment of finding them. So energetically, what happens is we find the treasure or treasures. And in that moment, God experiences them being found. Because God's in everything, every one of us. And in the finding of those treasures, each and every one of us, It allows God to give those treasures out to everyone, which is how the timelines jump. It's how we all go together, how we all rise together. Do you see? Do you understand? It's so beautiful how inclusive the design is. It's not about us versus them. It's not about this person is bad and this person is good. It's all inclusive. So, I've completely digressed as I always do. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's get back to the black hole. So I know categorically this morning, I've had two, those two dreams and they seem unrelated, but they're not. They're like, it's like a jigsaw puzzle for all of us. And we get all these pieces and they don't fit together all at once. They're not in order. And then, then we get another piece which allows us to put two and two together. And this happens for everybody. It's how the design is worked. It's why we don't understand things in a moment. And then a few weeks later or a year later, we understand why X, Y, Z happened or why we received this data. So the two dreams relate to the timeline, the energy that created the timeline yesterday. And we're all in it now. And it's not that everybody in the world all at once is going to sense this timeline that we're in. They're not. But they will. They'll, they'll sense this black hole type scenario, difficulty, despair, or, you know, turmoil inside, um, not knowing, confusion, um, you know, all, all of those sensitivities, but at a very, very, very deep level of experience over the next four to six weeks. 
and it, it has to play out in time. It has to be a period of about four to six weeks because everybody has their own tra tra trajectory. Everybody has their own life experience. So somebody could be feeling on top of the world today for whatever reason, but within the next four to six weeks, it will hit them because we're all on our own sine wave. There's a, there's a collective sine wave. But, but as I've explained in loads of previous past videos over the years, we all have our own sine wave. So we all flow to our own energetic wave as well as flowing to the collective waves that are coming into the planet. Which is why, you, you know, you, you experience people being happy and on top of the moon and you might not be. And then um, on top of the moon is a terrible analogy, sorry. But oh, uh, so that's my jet, my inner joke. <laughs> um, only because I've been showing the moon a few times. So anyway, um, digressing again. Um, yes. So everybody will will come to this um, period of time in the, in their own sine wave. But it arrived yesterday. Um, it could be. And I'm not saying categorically that it is. Please hear me on that. Um, I know what I know and I know what I don't know. And so I'm saying it could be that this is, is the very early stages because it arrived yesterday. Okay, so we're at the early stage of this kind of like black hole scenario that we each go into. Um, but it could be that this becomes the pre-wave. Now, I haven't spoken about the pre-wave, but I'm going to probably, if I remember on the um, recording that I'm going to be doing this week with Alethea from um, Carta Astral 222. Um, we're doing um, recordings, one in Spanish and one in English about the event wave. But in speaking to her um, recently, I've been telling her that I feel and it's such a strong feeling. I, I can't tell you how strong it is. And yet I've only really got one learning dream, very clear learning dream to go by on what I'm about to say. But I feel so strongly that there is a pre-wave. In other words, an energetic that comes in that is so strong, but it's before the main major event wave. It's before that one. Um, so I want to explain my, my strong feeling on that. I can't explain the strong feeling because it's inside me. It's energetic. It doesn't have words, but it's energy that courses through my body, which is usually true. It's always true. But it does relate to a learning dream I had last year, which I'm going to explain to you because this one I've never explained. So I get a lot of information in my dream time, not all of it, but some of it in the dream time. I was shown um, what you could only describe as an, an energetic tsunami coming in from the West into Glastonbury. Um, but it, it wasn't just Glastonbury. You have to understand it, it came in from the West of the world. And in that dream, I could see it coming I was, I was on the outskirts of Glastonbury here and I was with people and I said to them, uh, look, 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 look what's coming. We, you know, you, you, look, look, we need to get away from here. Look what's coming. Because I could see this energetic wave coming and they couldn't see it. Um, I kept telling them and telling them in the dream and they couldn't see it. And then when they did decide to look, they still couldn't see it. Whereas I could see it with the physical eyes. <clears throat> so um, in the end, there was no time. I told them and told them and told them of this energy coming and there was no time left in the dream. So I chose to take some cover behind um, a little building and the wave came in and it, it, it went through me and everybody and straight into the town of Glastonbury. Um, but it, I, I didn't feel much at all. I didn't feel a thing, uh, really. Um, it didn't bother me in any way, but the people around me, it bothered a lot. And um, some of you will remember last year, I 
kept writing posts <laughs> quite subtly about the fact that there'd come a time when people would go extremely imbalanced. Whether they're awakened or unawakened, they're just going to find it hard to cope um, and be stressed and with anxiety. And they may not even realize they are. So they may think they're absolutely fine and everybody else is um, crazy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> it's just funny sometimes. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so I, I kind of subtly pointed to that last year so many times to expect a period of time when people would would feel imbalanced but they wouldn't know it and the reason why if i can just explain because i know i'm digressing again but the reason why um this would occur and it and will occur and is occurring and will intensify in terms of people going out of balance is because you have to understand from an energetic perspective um energy comes into our body photon light comes into our body it, it the amount of photon light that's coming in gives us strength but there's also a frequency that has been increasing and increasing and increasing since 2015 for sure. Um, but really 2012. Um, now, that energy, that photon light, it takes three days to integrate into the physical cells. So imagine that photon light being in the cells of the brain. Some people are going to struggle mentally in incorporating adjusting to the increased spin which is photon light inside every cell of our body including our brain so it's just that it will disrupt people's ability to um, think in neutrality think in balance and react in neutrality, react in balance. So that's why, um, that's the energetic reason that, that of, of how energy works, but it's only temporary and it's only going to be temporary. So back to the learning dream <clears throat> of, um, of last year, sorry to digress again. So the tsunami of energy came in it didn't um, affect me unduly or badly, but it did affect the people around me. And there were, there was a person that was, was very, very imbalanced, um, crying, shouting for help, etc. Um, there was a voice in my head. See, all of this comes together. I know I talk a lot, but it all comes together in the end. But a, a, a voice in my head spoke to me in that dream and it said, go to the caravan. Well, what some of you don't realize is that um, I was told last year to go and live in the town, to be amongst the heightened frequencies, to be the balance within the heightened frequencies of the town. But I was told, um, within that learning dream last year to go back to the caravan. And then in recent weeks, I've been told categorically, without doubt, 150,000% to come back to the caravan. And I've been shown that in various forms as well as dream time. Um, so if you can see, we've got the energies that arrived yesterday, which it's just an analogy to call it like a black hole period that's going to last four to six weeks. We've also got the, the knowing, the absolute knowing, and I don't know why, that there is this pre-wave before the event wave. And it's the pre-wave that kind of seems to disrupt the balance within people, within the world. It seems to, but it's not going to. It's just a pathway to the event wave. It's, it's very hard, and I, this is where I have so much compassion for people, is that when events play out in our lives or on the world stage, we can react to them 
with pain, hurt and despair. Injustice. But some people, when they awoke, such as myself, it takes a trauma to awaken us and question reality, question this world, question our life, question the system, question how things are run. It takes a trauma for a lot of people. I know that some people have been awake all their lives and that must have been a trauma in itself to be awake within a world that was very much asleep. It must have been so hard for those people. But generally speaking, it, it takes sort of events that upset us um, to, to awaken us. So the pre-wave that I feel, it, it could have actually started yesterday, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll know in time, but I don't know today. The pre-wave is designed to shake people up to such a point that they search within themselves for meaning. And this isn't just the people that aren't awakened on the path. It's people that are on the path. But if I say this very loosely and gently, those people that are on the path that have one foot in the old world and one foot outside of the old world, we can't be on the fence. If you wish to be in the higher reality, <clears throat> it's a commitment to it. It's not about playing for periods of time in 3D and 4D. It's about committing to the, the one and only truth, which is that source is everything everything and everyone that source isn't divided never has been it just experiences the division within a polarized field so even for people that are, are that are awakened on the path this this pre-wave is going to um, affect them to despair in one way or another whether that's health whether it's mentally emotionally um, everybody has their own design. It's, it's a design they agree to, to experience and come out of. They come out of it. It's just temporary. And that's why they're here, to come out of it and remember. So this black hole period, let's just talk a little bit for support of how to get through it. And then I'll leave you be. <laughs> I said in, the, in that short post that I wrote today that there are clues and if you find the clues, it leads to the treasure. Well, what, what did I mean by that? So all around us, in this whole reality, I'm looking around the farm and, and if, if I walk into town or, or if, if I have a conversation with someone, all around us in every moment is knowledge, higher knowledge. It's higher esoteric knowledge and it's being given to us in every moment. The problem is that people don't see it or look for it necessarily in all moments. But that's the higher reality of living is we live, we end up living by that knowledge, not by the 3D mind or the 4D mind. We end up living by the signs that get given in every now moment. That's the higher reality. You call it 5D, whatever, but it doesn't matter what you call it. It, it's a higher reality, just like there are, there are patterns of light above the grass and the trees or on the trees. Everything's layered. So, there are clues. You could call them signs. But it's to try and focus daily on them. Look for them. And, and you see them in the present moment. You don't see them by looking at the past and you don't see them by looking and searching in the future. <clears throat> you see them in the present moment of now <clears throat> because that's where it is. I'm just smiling because the birds just come up to play. And um, there's a baby, there's a robin that's nesting under my caravan. 
so um, that was another sign for me when I got here that yeah absolutely I'm to come back so these are the signs and and it's not even to go read books on the signs and look for meanings um, of things that you know where people have written meanings that may be 30 years old because we're not there we're now we're here in these energies these are heightened energies we've never had these energies ever in the in this paradigm we've never had them so it's to look for your own meaning empower yourself by giving yourself the meaning that is unique to you that works for you that's a balanced meaning if the meaning is true it's balanced it's of love it's of wonder it's of gratitude if the meaning you come to is true so to be present in as many moments as you can to see the signs to see the clues and then when you see those clues you will go inside to process the clue and by that I could cry at this you know because it's so true for everybody is um if you go inside to process the clue that you've been given the sign it leads to revelation within you it leads to greater understanding of what you are and when you have found that greater revelation and understanding you're just filled with so much gratitude so much gratitude and that gratitude is, is it's next to love in energy frequency gratitude and so that energy frequency just that gratitude it just raises your frequency so can you see what the treasure is the treasure is realizing God within you piece by piece by piece by piece that's the treasure it's not about coming up with decisions from the mind coming up with reasons from the mind it's about going way past the mind going into your heart and realizing God within you oh my god you know I told you about the robin it's just right here can you hear it hold well on see do you see how it works just acknowledge the signs look what happens wow that's amazing <laughs> the treasures the treasures the, the clues are everywhere you find them in the now moment you just be present be present listen hear look feel and the signs are there for every single human being on this planet in their now moment when you feel the signs just go within you because it's you that understands your sign not another person they'll have a completely different perception of your signs and clues and their perception will be based on their life and their beliefs and where they are on their path you're the gold you're the power for you to self-realize you always have been always and so process the signs for you in a natural balanced neutral way and you know when it's true because it will feel neutral and of love complete neutrality and of love and gratitude this period is something that I spoke about last year I think it was autumn time it was a video made in Glastonbury Abbey and I spoke about a time when 
people would be in such inner turmoil that um, it would drive them inwards to find the God within them. In other words, they won't be able to find the answers on the outside. They won't find the answers by talking to their friend or their family or reading things. It won't take away their inner turmoil. The person who takes that away is yourself by going within. And it's this period of, of great, great turmoil for human personalities to experience that um, will put people in despair. It is already. And um, it's the road. It's the energies that lead people through that into realizing God within and without and that God was there all along, all along. It ne there was never anything else but God. It was there all along and it was just that we, we chose to forget. We chose to come in and experience forgetfulness and so the mind took over and the mind thought it knew better and the mind that made the decisions and we agreed to it all but we agreed to come out of it we agreed to remember and reconnect and so that period where the vast majority do reconnect is to come it's not now it's to come at, at the event wave time so I hope this helps explain that little short post. Um, I've done a lot of talking about a little post. <laughs> and um, I, hope, I hope that helps. I reckon it'll be about four to six weeks so that everybody goes through it in their own individual timeline. And it's just the design, you know. It's just, it is a design and there is a way that we get through it. There's a structure to the design. And when, when you know the structure to the design, you, you, can, you can play it, you can get through it. And, and it's designed to come out of. That's the main thing to say. The design that we've experienced here, the program, it's designed to come out of, okay? And we are doing it and we're doing it together. Of course we're doing it together because it's all one. That's where we're all headed to, the oneness, the unified field. So sending you all love from Glastonbury. I hope somehow even just a tiny piece of that has helped you um, as you navigate the next few weeks. I send you love and support, always support. And um, keep going. God bless. Bye-bye.